So, Danny Flexen for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by still unbeaten middleweight. Let's grasp the positives. Denzel Bentley. Yeah. Um, fresh off the draw with Mark Heffron in a British title eliminator on Saturday night at York Hall. Um, just first of all, when you were waiting for the announcement to be made, what were your feelings at that point? Were you confident you'd got the decision? Were you nervous? What was your feeling? Um, I've gone into the last round. Obviously, I, I got a little bit of a, um, you know, of a bollocking in the corner because I held a, I held a stiff shot in the ninth. Um, but I thought win this round and I've solidified the fight that like I've won it. So and I came out the last round thinking I won it. I think I finished strong. I think I made a miss. Counted them, stuck there with him, whatever, whatever you name, I I, I done it. So coming after that, I thought this is my fight. I, I, I've I've won. I've won. I've gone back to the corner. Everyone seemed confident. I thought it was going to be close because he was, you know, um, walking me down and I'd making my own mistakes like an idiot and doing some dumb shit. But we went, we we came out and I was confident. When they said 95, I thought they were going to say 95, 94. So I was kind of like, 95, it can't be a draw. Not, like in my head, they knocked down everything. Yeah. I must have took a point. Then they said 95, 95. And I was like, oh, come on, man. But then you look at his face and he was grinning ear to ear. He felt like he dodged the bullet. He was like, what, a draw? And then now every other interview, he wants to talk about He won every round, the pop from the round, he got knocked down. Like, come on, like, let's be honest. Listen, it was a good fight and he's a good fighter, isn't it? And, and I... And I I showed my level. He showed what he was about. But anyone that's confident they want to fight doesn't go and say things like that, that they, they won every round apart from the round they got knocked down. It, like, as if he was the one moving on his toes and giving me a boxing lesson and pinging me with his jab. But it is what it is. It reminded me a lot of um, Ted Cheeseman against Scott Fitzgerald last year in that mm. Cheeseman was relatively comfortable for the first six rounds. And then as he started to fade the opponent Fitzgerald in that case came on, was quite aggressive, and that evened it up on the scorecards. But again, I had um, Cheeseman winning that fight for a couple of rounds. So, I don't know. I'm not seeing what a lot of people see. And although a couple of people did agree with me, I think Rob Tebbett on Boxing Social had you three up at the end. And there was a few yeah, no, I, I saw a lot of people, obviously, like as, as the days went on, I saw some people thinking that um, Heffron won, but he's got a big fan base. So all these guys are just, you know, they're just obviously going to say that they're, they're, they're guy won, but you know, the instant reaction was like, yeah, no, nah, Denzel won. But I guess now that it's the draw, there's an excuse to say, oh, the pressure, walking him down works. But walking me down and not landing doesn't really win you fights. You know what I mean? He's throwing his shots. He did land the odd one, two shots and, it, and they were good shots. But I think I was, I think I landed more combinations. I was, you know, I was, I was more effective with my jab. And I think, I think my movement was better by the end of the day. But it just makes me think, what, what, what do the judges score? Like, Obviously, you can't argue with three judges having it the same way, but it's like, wh what are you scoring? Like, what's the criteria? Like, can you let us know the criteria, please, so we can try and, you know, fight to, obviously, to win, but to fight towards what you're scoring. Like, what counts and what doesn't? Is it clean shots you're landing? Is it walking forward? Is is it clean shots that you're landing that you're scoring? Is it walking forward that you're scoring? Is it just maybe one big shot around? Your I don't know. Like, who, or are you scoring based on who got hurt in that round? Do you know what I mean? Like, if... Because in the ninth round, I thought I was still winning the round until he hit me with that shot. And obviously, I got hurt. But is that what... That possibly is what changed the round. But is that what you're scoring? Like, whoever gets hurt in the round loses. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, what's the criteria? Because at the end of the day, it just kind of makes you think that, like, all right, so what I've done clearly wasn't enough. But like I said, back to the drawing board. I, like, I think if I fought the same fight again, I should win again. But... Of course, you can't do that because the judges obviously wasn't scoring that or wasn't, you know, respecting, not, not respecting, but wasn't acknowledging the work I was doing early in the fight and right at the end of, of, of the fight. So we just go to the drawing board, correct those mistakes I made and, and we go again. And like we were saying, I think most people had your head after six rounds and then it started to turn a little bit. Do you think now that having quick fights on the way up has hindered you a little bit in that once it got to round six, seven, you started to fade a little bit? Uh, no, not really, because it, it wasn't my fault them, that, the, that those fights weren't quick. Like, I was stepped up accordingly to, you know, the level no, no, I turned no, professional. But, but do you regret not getting the rounds in? Even though oh, no, no, no. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't regret not getting the rounds in. I, 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 listen, if I could have not had Mark in the first round, I would have done that too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't regret not thing, but 
Imagine me doing that with that performance, boxing like that with no experience. I'm going to say I've never been 10 rounds, never fought anyone of that caliber. Like he's been in the game 10 years, fought for a British title, all the things he was meant to be a dangerous destroyer beforehand. Uh, his manager was saying he was world level and I'll get my turn. He was saying I'm like Andrew Robinson's level and he's going to treat me like he, he, he treated Andrew Robinson. I was meant to get chin, knocked all of these things. And I ended up putting him down and giving him a boxing lesson. I know I let him come back in the fight. That was due to the lack of experience. But I've got that now. That's in the bag. I'm in the gym every day training. You see me train. I'm doing all these rounds in the gym, which is easy to, easy, easier to do in the gym without the pressure. So I was confident I could do the 10 rounds, but it was just a, a case of what pace am I doing the 10 rounds at? Don't, I, don't, I didn't want to not finish strong because I thought that could cost me the fight. So then you, you end up slowing down in the middle rounds thinking, ah, I've got this now. I'm like, because in my head, I'm counting it. I'm scoring it. I know you shouldn't be, but I'm like, I'm like four, five, four, four, five rounds up plus the lockdown. Say no more. Just do your thing. Keep boxing. Keep jabbing. Keep moving. A couple rounds. You, you can probably cruise it a bit and then come back at the end. I ain't going to do that next time. I ain't going to do that next time because that, that's cost me. That's cost me my, my perfect record. So next time I'm going to just carry on doing what I'm doing and, you know, stick through it. Did you feel like you had something left in the tank at the end then? Could you have done more? I think I finished stronger than him in the end. I don't know what I, I think. I, but you're I, saying I, I you took the middle match. rounds off to an extent. So do you feel with what you had left at the end, you could have gone? Oh, in the middle, pace? yeah, yeah. Like literally, like, the, the, the way I finished in the tenth round, especially after getting hurt, like, like in, in 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 the night, I reckon I I could have done more in the middle rounds. You know what I'm trying to say, but you could say it was being lazy, but at the same time, it was me just being cautious, but too cautious, thinking I I, I want to finish strong, so I'd rather you know just win these rounds by the skin of the teeth, just do the bare minimum to win the round and then, and then finish strong. But when I was finishing strong, it wasn't because I thought I was losing, it's because I want to make sure that I win the last rounds of, of, of this fight, which, which I did in the 10th. But with the way I finished the 10th round and I was still on my feet and, you know, being able to, I wasn't as tired as I thought I'd be. I could have definitely picked it up in like the, Done more in the sixth, seventh, and eighth. Hundred percent. It's a British title eliminator, but no one got eliminated because it was a draw. So yeah. when are you going to run it back? What's the plan? So we need to run it back asap, man. I'm I'm good to go. I'm not really hurt. I'm not. Well, I'm not hurt. Oh, not not really. I'm not hurt. No bruises. No marks. No cuts. No, no, you don't look like you've got any marks. Um, it it just it just it just depends how how long it takes him to recover. I'm not saying like I don't know. Like, his body in it. He has to. That's to be how long it is for him to recover. How he, you know, if he feels comfortable going again this year, they can go again this year. I know they're talking about pushing the uh, Dubois and Joyce card back to like November. So November is good for me. I'm I'm going to be in the gym anyway, so it don't make no sense just being in the gym without a day. Either way, being in the gym is hard, whether it's a camp for a fight or not. So I might as well just use the time I have off to just completely you know, recover from the camp or whatever and then go back again and hopefully November on that card, I think it will be a big show, especially if there's crowds in there. I think it will be a big show. And the fact you didn't get the result, is it any consolation that it was a really good fight and people really enjoyed watching it or do you not? <laughs> Does that not make yeah, you feel better? Yeah, but I don't make me feel better. I'm happy everyone enjoyed it, but it's just, it's, it's, it still bugs me that I think I deserved the win and obviously I didn't get it, but... It is what it is. It just bugs me, man. I'm not going to you. It bugs me. But yeah, everyone enjoyed it. I got home. My family enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people, the instant reaction to the fight was that I won. Maybe people are watching it back and they're trying to see why the judges scored it a draw, which is what's, you know, now twisting the opinions of people. And also the, the commentary, they were scoring them every round. And apart from the knockdown, I don't know. I don't know, man. It just bugs me. I'm happy everyone enjoyed it and I'm happy the rematch will be big, but I, I wanted that win, man. I should be 14 and 0 right now, man. I should be moving on, 14 and 0, trying to go for that British and set out to do what I, I achieve. But I'm being held back for a split second, which is calm. You know, uh, I take it as a slingshot, being pulled back to get shot forward even further. 
talking of the slight delay, I can't remember who it was, but someone on Twitter said maybe a draw is a good thing because uh, you... Yeah, that was Barry Paul, Jones. You saw that. That was Barry Jones. Oh, I Barry saw Jones, that. That was yeah, Barry Jones. Neither of you yeah. are quite ready for Liam Williams just yet. Like I said, that's his opinion, isn't it? That's his opinion. I've done that with no experience. You People are acting like I've been in the game 10 years, had about 100 fights, grueling fights and oh, you're not cut out for that level. No, bro. When I get to that, that level that William Williams is on, I will be ready with that experience. That was the whole point of this fight, to get these to get these things under under my belt, the experience under my belt, and go again and have another fight like this and get that experience under my belt. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite a fast learner. Once I know how I feel in a situation, I know what to do next time round. So it wouldn't take me too long to, you know, go out for these things. And Mark's already fought Liam, so we all know that he's not on that level. You know what I'm trying to say, I got a draw, so you can arguably say, yeah, same level, you do no one one, whatever, in it. At the end of the day, I had done that with no experience. Liam Williams done that in 22 fights after fighting Liam Smith twice, fighting for the British, becoming British champion at the weight below. He's he done all that before. He knows what it takes to go 10 rounds or 12 rounds and be in hard fights. I didn't. I didn't. I get my experience in the gym through sparring quality fighters, but not being in wars. I sparred a load of quality fighters over my time being at Peacock's. And that's what, and that's how I learned how to box. And no, I learned how to box from the amateurs, but you know what I mean. How to, how I learned my professional style and how I picked up on things. And you know what I'm just saying how how to, how to navigate myself around the ring. But being in tough fights like that, when the pressure's on, I haven't experienced that. And now I have. It will be a different fight next time round because, and I, I, I feel like I know exactly what to do. But like I said, you got to go in there and do it again. He probably feels like he knows what to do to beat me now, but he's had that experience. That that was a difference. I know it's only one time, but I've had it now. So I'm going to handle it differently. And I, and I know the mistakes I made. He thinks he had a perfect fight, meaning to him he made no mistakes because he won every round apart from the round he got knocked down. So he made no mistakes. So that's something that he has to go and think about. So he probably, he's got nothing to work on. I do. And when I do work on that, it's going to make me a, a better fighter than I am now. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking this as a loss, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back even stronger. You've had uh, a lot of messages of support on social media. I've seen you've um, retweeted quite a lot of them, so I've seen them on my feed as well. Mm. What What do you want to say to people out there, not just the ones who have reached out, but just people generally who've supported you, felt you won the fight, and, and just st sticking in your corner, and even new fans that you've won from being in that fight? Yeah, no, man, I appreciate all of them. Man. I appreciate all of them. That that made me feel like, you know, um, not to sound weird, but I, I weren't alone in thinking that. I, I, I can be what I want to be, you know, so I, I appreciate all of them and the, the, the love's appreciated, man. Because before this, the amount of stick I was getting, wow. If I retweeted it, I swear, <laughs> if I retweeted the amount of stick I was getting, yeah, you'd think, raw people are actually kind of kind of mad at it. I've had people tweeting saying they're worried for my health. I'm taking this fight because of the money. There's no money. We're fighting behind closed doors. <laughs> Where are we getting the money from? Just, just, just to, to um, calm Frank Warren's lawyers down, there is some money. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, not a lot of money, but there is some yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, well, obviously. Yeah, I mean, saying not, he's not, not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, defi I'm, I'm definitely getting paid. But I mean, like, if there's no big money to, to generate for these fights. So people are saying I'm taking this for the money as if I'm getting, like, you know, like six, seven figures. You're crazy, bro. Like, I'm doing this because I'm trying to excel in my career. People are like, oh, I fear for this guy's life. You know, he's getting in there with a machine. And I showed... I went in there with a normal human and and done what I needed to do. I was getting DMs from all these fans saying you're going to get knocked out. Da, 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 da. People were Don't retweeting. Close your DMs. Uh, <laughs> no, I liked it. I'm reading it thinking, yeah, I'm going to save you, 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 and you. Well, after I batter this guy, I'm coming back to laugh at all of you. So but, now, um, well, there's a draw. Do you still go back and say? Because <laughs> they're wrong. <laughs> nah, nah. I've got to wait till you run it back. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, I, I was getting people at me on Twitter showing me their betting slip saying yeah mate you get knocked out in the 7th and at me in, in their betting slip showing that they bet money on me to get knocked out and I was thinking rah these guys are they're violating that they actually just think I'm so mug but now I'm getting all the positive stuff I, I appreciate that even more I'm not even more, I'm not even looking for these negative comments but I'm being tagged in it so I'm seeing it I'm going to read it if I'm being tagged in it I'm not I'm not I, 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 I ain't got like I'm, I'm not faint-hearted. I'm not going to see it and stop crying and be like, oh, everyone's against me. No, nah, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep being against me. And when 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 I come out on top, I get to laugh at you. But I appreciate the love and support even more. I appreciate everyone that's come out and 
you know, showed me love like during this period and, and enjoyed the, 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 the fight. And that was the talk of the weekend, really. So I'm happy about that. Great stuff. Well, onwards and upwards. I'm sure I'll see you in the yeah. Peacock very soon. And yeah. um, hopefully there'll be a date for the rematch soon. Hopefully, man. Run it back. Let's run it <laughs> back, mate. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. All right, mate. We'll take yeah. care. I'll speak to you All soon, right. yeah? All right, nice one, thanks. See you later. Cool.